everybody, it's Evan and People's Frank here inside the garage. We got a Toyota Corolla. This vehicle just came in. Was told by someone else that needs an engine, man. That's open heart surgery. Well, guess what? We dive into the noise, become the heroes, because it's not an engine on this edition of Inside the Garage. So a very low mileage Toyota Corolla comes rolling in the garage. And actually, this particular customer was pretty frantic. The guy who owns this vehicle, because he was told by two of the garages, you're going to need some major engine work, specifically pulling the cylinder head for this particular noise. We're going to start this motor up here just in a quick moment. I got to tell you guys, if you're collecting tools, one of the best tools that you can get is a good old-fashioned stethoscope. At the end of the day, to isolate noises, this little $20, if that, stethoscope can really pinpoint that. And what you're doing is you're actually going to take the length of that stethoscope tip and start probing where you have the bearings and the accessories. So you'll listen into the alternator. You're actually going to go be very cautious about this. You're going to go right in here. You hear a little bit of noise. There's a certain rhythm, rhythm of that type of noise you're going to hear. And then you're going to be really cautious and go right down into the water pump. I always like to start on the back side. And you can definitely hear a noticeable rumbling. I'm going to try to reproduce that noise with some audio. Look, the bottom line is if you've actually used the stethoscope and you're not getting any problems and you're not hearing any noise, the last step to really determine if your engine is actually kaput is pull that belt off. Most of your vehicles will have a serpentine drive belt. If you've got several belts, pull all those belts off. If that engine is still making noise and you've taken all the accessories out of the loop, that means you got an engine problem. As you guys know, before you get started, get a battery saver. That'll keep you from having any uh, preset issues with your stereo. It's just one of those little things that really help out. And uh, before you disconnect the battery, you should be disconnecting the battery every single time before you do any work on your vehicle. take your time here you just got to unseat it from the lower cradle and as you can imagine it's just been wedged and you pop it right out not a problem one thing I got to tell you guys is more is less take as much stuff as you can take apart so you can access the part you're after all right so here we go guys we got the alternator moved down you can see the play it's not actually showing up as bad as it could be but what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that pulley and see if you've got lateral play time with that water pump they come out pretty easily unlike some of the timing chain driven water pumps that get pretty intense you can actually feel the coarseness as you turn this pump and you can imagine going so many revolutions that's going to create that humming and moaning kind of noise uh, that almost sounds like maybe you've got a valve train issue but you really don't new pump as you can see and i do recommend that you stick for toyota go with japanese original equipment i'll have the part number down in the comments so you want to make sure to keep these pumps from going out that you service your cooling systems stick to the owner's manual that's the guide if you're in a severe duty climate know that the maintenance plan is going to change a severe duty climate uh, like we are here in Arizona with the extreme heat you're going to aggressively maintain the vehicle. One last thing about these rubber o-rings don't put any silicone or any foreign sealing type agent on these these are designed to sit in the ridge of the seat for this water pump on the engine block get it nice and flat and mount off the water pump you want to make sure that you turn these bolts in an opposing fashion screwed in, hand tighten them, and then torque them down with a torque ratchet. There you have it, water pump. Man, we're feeling good in the garage today because that wasn't an engine. That was real easy peasy. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out our channel. Man, we just want to empower and educate as many people as we can. And if you're in the Chandler, Arizona area, stop by for a cup of coffee. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And for my fellow wrenches, if we missed anything, please get them down in the comments. This is a community. I'm Frank from Inside the Garage. I'll catch you guys next time.